The first footage released by the Army showed a very long runaway covered in full length with hundreds of different types of operational drones. Some of those drones were later identified to be from classes of Mohajar, Ababil, Kaman 12, Arash, Kian, Simork, Saak, Hazem, etc. The diversity of Army's drones was just the appetizer before the Happy Meal Army had provided for those seeking any hostility in the region. The technologies used by the Army to upgrade operational capabilities of the drones were the main surprise. In part of this drill, Karar tracked a target in the air and fired an air-to-air Azarak Shear missile successfully destroying it. This was the first time Karar had ever been put into practice for a targeting and destroying mission. The second surprise also came from Karar class. Drone's nose had something different coming out which attracted the attention. A three-barrel machine gun with high rate of fire which could be used both for warning shots or engaging the enemy aircraft on the air. These new installations turn the Karar class into a full house battle air fighter which contrary to the previous versions, can engage the enemy and come back home safe and sound. Diamond missile which was previously produced and successfully tested by the Army, is an air-to-surface high-accuracy missile from the top attack class missiles. This missile, due to its similarities to Israel's spike, attracted a lot of attention among military experts upon unveiling by the Iranian Army a while ago. As its class name implies, this missile attacks from the top and destroys any target within the range of 8 kilometers. It was mainly designed to penetrate the heavily armored targets like tanks from above because of the weaker armor. It was also the first time Ababil drone was being seen while carrying and firing this type of missile. Ababil successfully targeted and destroyed targets on the ground using this missile. Suicide drone or loitering munition or kamikaze drone is a weapon system category in which the drone flies around the target for some time and after locating it precisely, attacks. Loitering munitions enable faster reaction times against concealed or hidden targets that emerge for short periods without placing high-value platforms close to the target area, and also allow more selective targeting as the actual attack mission can be aborted. For those armies having this type of weaponry at their disposal, portability is one of the main challenges of using it against the enemy. The recent drill proved that the Iranian army has now conquered this challenge and can launch the Arash suicide drone from portable containers which even normal cars can carry. This increases the mobility and displacement power of suicide drones during the camouflage. Arash drone from loitering munition class was first manufactured to destroy and paralyze enemy radar systems and now can target sensitive vital infrastructures. Come on 12 drone was the army's first battle drone produced in 2018. It was first introduced to public during Ektidar 40 military exhibition. The self-sufficiency movement of the Iranian army was in charge of designing and producing this fully Iranian drone. 
From the beginning, this drone had the ability of being equipped with wide range of weapons, but until the January 5th to 6th drill, Akgar missile was the only weaponry it had ever carried and used. During the drill, new armaments were attached to this drone, giving it a full battle capability and a brand new somehow terrifying looks. It now has the ability to use smart accurate com missiles, diamond missiles, and 25mm rockets. With an operational radius of 1000 km, a top speed of over 200 km per hour, flight continuity of more than 10 hours, ability to carry shipments weighing 100 kg, and a maximum takeoff weight of 450 kg. This little thing can be a nightmare for any heavily or lightly armored vehicle moving on the ground. Another achievement of Iran's army unveiled during the drill was a new class of drones called the air-based. These drones are mainly from the Suicide Squad family but slightly different, they can be launched by a helicopter hovering on the air.